Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 3! UDJ, I need you to wake up. Wake up from your nightmare! Alright, so we have to find the acid shield unit. I figured as much. I mean, we know where it is, but getting there is gonna be a bit of a tricky mistress. But how get? How get? I don't know. Samus. Unit 217 has discovered evidence of hidden Chozo artifacts on Skytown. Oh! Perhaps these could assist you in accessing the rest of the hmm. pipe That sounds like a spider ball to me. It could be. It could be. I mean, the game has done this before, where you're on your current planet and it says, Hey, there's something over on another planet, you should get it right now. I mean, I like conveyance, I like them telling me where to go, but it would have been nice to figure this out on my own, but... At least they tell me where to go and not exactly what exactly I need to do while I'm here. Yeah, just imagine doing everything on the pirate home base and you're just like, Okay, now what? But fortunately, it tells you around the time you beat Gandreda and get back to your ship, it says, Oh, hey, there's something on Elysia. You should go there. You should go there. It, just in case you didn't hear, you, sh you should go there. So, okay. this is both uh, getting an item that we need to move on, and also the preamble for something that every good Metroid game always has to do. Massive amount of backtracking. It's backtracking time. Yes. Because we're not not exactly uh not 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 fully yet, but uh, this is a way to start getting all the all the pickups. We don't have everything we need yet, but uh, this is a way to start. Well, let's just think it. We've got a pretty good amount of the collectibles already. We are um we're looking pretty good. We are roughly two thirds of the way done. Hilarious. I believe our, uh... Yeah, yeah I, I think we're at 66% on our file right now. That's fantastic. And how many more areas do we have after Pirate Homeworld? Well, we got, uh, the Final World, and I think we got the Valhalla to check out. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering... You shouldn't... We shouldn't have that much more because we just beat the last boss. We, we are wrapping up a bit. I, 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 I wouldn't say wrap like we're, like we're almost done, but, uh, it's... We're coming to the climax. We're coming to a head. See, that's amazing because the other two Metroid Primes that we've done, it felt like, you know, we had clean up one, clean up two, and then it's just like, okay, well, we got everything. Let's go. But this one, we just beat the third of the other hunters, and now we're just kind of, all right, let's clean up. Unless I am very wrong about this. Um, I wouldn't say we're, like... Wrapping up was the wrong was the wrong term. Cleaning. We're seeing like the end is in sight. That's okay. That's a better way to put it. We're not there yet, but we can see it on the horizon. It's it's just a matter of dismantling Dark Samus's attack, basically, which was put seeds in three planets and uh, fuck everything up. Shit. Speaking of fucking things up, what the hell? Well, uh, Alright, I think we're gonna get something here. Gee, I wonder what it could be. I just have a funny feeling. Oh my god! Look, I hear Chozo, I hear Artifact. It had to have been the spider ball. I could have been wrong, though. I always like being wrong when it comes to seeing all the cool new toys. Well, we're not done with the new toys yet. I mean, we're, we're about to have acid armor, which just... It's a Pokemon move, so I can't wait to have it. Seeker missile. You've activated Sky Skyworld's brain, I guess. Look at all those neurons. Where is all this? Huh? We're going into the depths. Hmm. Got a gear here and solve this. Uh, okay. This is a little, little weird, but check it out. Alright. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get that gear up there. Okay. First, let me get a bit of this lore here. 
Defeat. We're not done with Skytown lore yet. The two weeks following the Seed's impact were disastrous. Like the Aurora unit, we too were infected with the phazon base virus. The spreading corruption consumed many of us, putting us under space pirate control. It was not long before only a handful of us remained. During this time, there was three. There was but a one, there, there was but a moment that we received aid. Gore, the hunter, dispatched the Federation, and arrived here to destroy the Aurora unit. But we all know what happened to that. There is no hope left for us. Soon we too will be among the enemy forces. The last of us now stand before the brink of our history's end, silently waiting for our final hours. I am Elysian, descendant of both the Chozo and the First. I am facing the last moments of my life and transferring my memories into this data pod. The First. Oh! Uh, what? Shit. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, you're supposed to Whoop. yank it and then shoot a missile Oof. and then... There you go. Very cool. That shouldn't have worked, but I'm glad it did. Hey! That was easy. Oh, I, I, I love when a plan comes together. Now we turn into a giant wheel. Yeah! Now, we could leave, but that's why I say it's the preamble of backtracking. So while we're here, let's get some more stuff. Might as well pick it up while we're in the neighborhood. You can get this anywhere, but if you come over here to this corner, you can get that little red bit right there, and there's your spider ball track. Huh. This... It's a moment I like to call, is UDJ feeling patient this time around? <laughs> yeah, you were telling me before this episode, and kind of why I joked about it to begin with, uh, you said this was your nightmare? Yeah, this is this, this was a rough one for me. That's why it took so long. This, this, why it is so long, it's almost 40 minutes. I had to cut down quite a bit, because there was there were, there were some issues. This one was, a, was an issue more in practice, because I was too impatient. If you get hit by those uh, flame jets, you will just plummet and not have much of a chance to get back up. I see, I see. So you gotta do it perfectly. Yeah. You come up here, and you can. That's the way forward, but you can come around here. There's one more this way. Uh, now we're gonna get fun. Ooh, okay. Boosting around always feels good. Going. That didn't look like you latched onto it. Oh, I, oh, I know. Some close, <laughs> some close calls, like this one right here. Oh. Ah! Thank God for magnets. Huh? Luckily, the spider ball is a generous, caring mistress. Usually. Way ahead of you, game. I know how this works. I'm a veteran. I've been here before. And there we go. So was that one of your patience roadblocks, or are we running over to it? No, that no, that was just a. Uh, you, you have to do it correctly. You had, you you can't rush. You got you got to wait for the flame jet. Just one of those like where you tense up. It's just like ha ah, da. Okay, we got it. We got it. Now we got to get over there, but we're, it's too far away to, to screw attack. So what? we have to. So we have to take this. Yeah, I mean the whole bridge is out. All that we have, all we have, is just this spider track. I do like this. Give scale to everything. I, I like this. It does. Far away shot. You're right. It absolutely gives scale. It's that the, those moments where you're just going around and you just think, "Wow, wow." Ah, uh, that's Yoink. that's fun. Another E tank. Holy crap! We are now at ten. <laughs> Jesus. This is Samus has too many E tanks. Please nerf. Eh, it can get tough. It's like it, cause remember, the game is expecting you to use hyper mode a lot more now. Oh wait, just boost. Yeah, duh, duh. Use the boost to get through, dude. I also like the storm in the background. 
really adds to it. I mean, we dropped a nuke here not long ago. I know. I figured the atmosphere wouldn't be, uh... <laughs> Just thinking we ruined everything, but for good cause. Uh, you know, it, it's either drop a nuke or, ha or have it submit to Phazon. I was about to say, it's either Phazon or me. <laughs> Couple more things over here. And all we did was cause a little thunderstorm. Everybody's gonna be fine. Oh, I didn't activate this one yet. Oops. That's pretty funny. Right, this is where we actually got this the, the boost ball. Oh, that's amazing. Still got some unfinished business over here. Yeah, we got, uh, three scans and two pickups. Donk. <laughs> I think it's the first time I've heard the thunk for when you hit the flash shield. That's so funny. Yeah. Nice. Good. Oh my god, the screw attack killed something? We love it. You'll love to see it. Alright, here. Ah. Ow, ow, ow. Which unlocks that. Is this the first time we've ever had a weapon that actively hurts us? Or an ability that actively hurts us? I know it's not for a lot, but I it's mean, still something. Unless you count hyper mode. I mean, that takes a whole E-tank just to use. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Yeah. No, no, no! Gotta be deliberate here. There we go. Excellent. All for a missile. And a and a piece of lore. There's lore up here? There's lore up here. <laughs> Give me your lore, nerd! Phase on. Uh, one week after we had lost communication with the Aurora unit, we witnessed a living planet strike again. It sent forth several stellar objects, one aimed directly for us. It streaked through the clouds of Elysia, destroying a large portion of our home, ultimately striking the distant core below. Soon our sensors detected the presence of strange energy. Our readings matched with the Federation's data. This was the same toxin that corrupted countless other planets and our creator's world, the galactic scourge known as Phazon! So that was the moment they got infected with Phazon! It happened, and they were like, oh no! What do we do? Wait for me to wake up, that's what. Like, I hate the fact that we like we were out for a month, and everything just went to shit. So much got done in so little time. Dark Samus has an agenda, she was ready. Oh, no, no kidding. It's like, step one, corrupt the other me. Step two, domination. She had a plan. So here's something neat. What's happening here? Oh, it's just another, uh, other thing. Damn, wouldn't you know it, Steam Lord's here yet again. Hi, we, Steam Lord! We can use the X-ray visor and just make quick work of him. Oh, good. Oh, no! Oh, oh stop! Oh, God, please! Oh, hey, Wait, hey, she ow, can see me, ow, she can see ow, me. Ow, oh, this ow, is bad, this is bad. Oh, God! At least I can deal some damage. Oh, jeez. Easy. Good fight, good fight. Let me go over here, we'll, uh... Add some energy to that to overpower it. And it blows up. Overclock these fans, and... Oh, yep, just to destroy them. Energy cell! Le yoink! Twist! And pull. pull! Yoink! That's number five! So refresh my memory, these energy cells, we'll be using them later, right? Yes, we will. Okay. How later? Way later. Okay. Like, so later, it's like, Jesus, that's later. So probably right before the finale. I think they're meant to get, like, bonuses and stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay. Nah, that's cool. Right, now we can leave yet again. But there's still just two more things that we can get. Just, just a few more things. A new enemy has showed up here. You got me intrigued. What See you that, got? that bright ball of light over there? That's an enemy? That's an enemy. Oh. That's a phazoid. 
Oh no! Yeah, we got life forms from phase on from phase leaking here. Oh no! Oh, it splits apart. Yeah, they split apart and they blow up too. So uh, y yeah, be careful of that. Great. That just beautiful. Oh, I know. You'll love to see it. You know, every time I hear the word phase on. My mind immediately goes to Energon, which was what the Transformers were fighting over for pure Admiral, domination. This is Admiral Dane. Ooh, Admiral, yes, sir. I've ordered the Federation fleet to walk to the pirate homeworld and begin the invasion. Cool. I think it's time we took the fight to them. Agreed. We'll contact you when we're ready to commence our assault. Uh, sir, you need to w have some armor for the acid rain. Sir? Well, they'll figure it out. So I think that's the game signaling, all right, it's time to do more pirate homeworld stuff. Subtle hint, more than anything. Oh, but there there was a point to uh, bringing up Energon. It's, uh, it's a corrupting force. You get too much power and you become mad with oh, power. No! Yeah, and you fell straight through. See, I hear Faze and all I think of is uh, Turk from Scrubs. His actor was Donald Faison. Spelled like this? No. Okay. W w with an F. W was he part of the corruption? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, check it. There's a variation of phase uh, of phaseoid. A red phaseoid. It's a rare strain of corporeal energy. It's just a lot stronger now. And you even get a, a yellow metal by killing it. Because it's rare? Because it's rare, and tough, and powerful. So you found a shiny phaseoid and they rewarded you for it? Th that one's always there. Oh, okay. Well, still, they, they let you know, hey, this is cool. You got it. Good job. Speaking of cool, I like this. You are correct. This is very cool. <laughs> it's all twisty, turny. And Messes all with the eyes a little bit. For you. Ah, good. Ship missile expansion! I checked. Yes, I did indeed miss one. Oh. I missed one over by the screw attack. We'll get it later, though. Yeah, we can go back and get it. We're, we're gonna be back there for something else anyway, so it's all good. It's fine. We've, We've also go got. Oh. Some lore! I think this is the last bit of lore at Elysia. Invader. <laughs> We watched as Elysia fell victim to the meteor's corruption, its phase on beginning to consume her. High above the noxious surface, we continued to collect data on the object. It was not long before we, meet, we met a new enemy. Space pirates, hostile alien life forms and sworn enemies of the Federation, entered the station and attacked. The pirate forces struck swiftly, their numbers and weapons dwarfing our own. After their initial assault, they began the construction of a massive energy shield around the meteor. They referred to the fallen object as a seed, and quickly built the protective barrier. Any resistance they met from us was crushed. Our attention then turned to the pirates themselves, and we could not stop them through combat. Perhaps there was another way. Our studies quickly yielded unexpected results. All the space pirates were corrupted with Phazon, but unlike other life forms, they were actually being sustained by it. This Phazon kept them alive. That means that they're just they're willingly being controlled by the Phazon. And we checked the lore from the pirate homeworld. They're saying, "Oh yes, we love Dark Samus. Yeah, we'll kill anyone who doesn't love Dark Samus." I got turned around here. So. That basically means that one log that we read from the Space Pirate Homeworld, basically if people didn't feed into the corruption, they got shot. Yep. Either, uh, because if you're not with us, you're against us. Mm-hmm. And there's no being against Dark Samus the way of our... All other forms of fealty were, 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 were stricken, so... I, I don't care if you made a deal with that. Dark Samus is the way now. Go with Dark Samus or, or you die. If you're not with the hive mind, you're against us. One more thing to get while we're here. God, you're like a Nintendo Direct. Just one more thing. <gasps> one more thing? Please, take a look. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm going to end the backtracking with, we've got one more surprise for you. Please take a look at this. This is the last thing we'll be looking at today. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be getting missile expansions later today. Hell yeah! 
<laughs> that actually is what we're here for. I can't wait until they shadow drop Metroid Prime 4 in the next Direct. Don't get my hopes up. They'll just be like, oh yeah, we've been working on this for a long time, so here's 2 and 3 remastered, releasing today, and Metroid Prime 4 coming out in uh, April. All right, I'm gonna do something that I, uh, ha that I don't like to do in these kinds of episodes. Bomb jump. Cut for time. So let's just get out of here. We got what we came here for. Yeah, we got what we came here for. There's nothing else, and really just just to save time, I'm gonna save you like three minutes of me just getting to the, whatever landing zone. We call that in the business trimming the fat. Well, there was it was a lot of fat, and it's already a pretty hunky boy, and you know just. And You're making a good steak for the people, all right? You can you can skip some of these uh, transitions as well. You know that's that's nice. But now we've got what we came for. We can now go back to the pirate homeworld. I'm down. Hey, there's a soon-to-be assault on their planet. I'm all for it. I still gotta get some things, you know, we, we, we gotta get uh, the hazard shield. I mean, right. it, 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 it'd be good to go around in the acid rain. <laughs> the acid suit. Y yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see what that looks like. I've always enjoyed seeing what the new suits look like on Samus. Except for everything from Fusion, because it all looked like snot. So... I like, I like the Omega suit. Omega suit did look cool. I'm talking like... I think I like the gravity suit too. It was, it, it was a, a a nice mesh of, mesh of purple. It, it was mainly the yellow one. Yeah. Like, it was the the yeah. yellow is just like, okay, uh, nah, 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 nah. I think there was a little bit of green mixed in there too. It's just like, okay, what are we doing It's here? It's, it's like how I didn't like uh, Sam's suit and other M. Just the, the shades yeah. of it was kind of just... I don't know. I look at those colors and I just, I just have a, fl a fight or flight response. Now, I did like the default suit from Dread. White looks really good on her. Yeah, all the suits from Dread look pretty fucking sweet. Especially the Metroid suit, which he just... <laughs> that's... So my OC finally came to life. We got Samus here with the... the blue sheet. Sh shocking blue raspberry look here. I was but about to say, she drenched herself in Kool-Aid. Looking good, girlfriend. It has a very... <coughs> oh, I'm okay. <laughs> kind of look to it. <laughs> I got the cough hack suit. <laughs> okay, we're good. Or maybe like any of the aliens in the Star Wars franchise that bleed blue. Just uh, got all over. The Federation Armada is now in orbit above the pirate homeworld. All right. The final assault, but the base is protected by a barrier that prevents us from landing. Oh. We need you to disable this defense system. No Unit problem. Unit 2 has located its control center. Here are the coordinates. Here you go. Go take down the shield so we can bomb these guys! And it's over in this area. Yeah, it's actually pretty far away. Alright, well, well, we'll get there in time. They're, they're, they're gonna... They're gonna be waiting for a while. I mean, we got stuff to do. I mean, I have to get a shield before I can take down the shield. Correct. You correct. Alright. What do you think they're talking about up there? Like, just waiting for the assault? What do you think they're talking about? Yeah, you, you, have you tried the new salt and vinegar chips from, uh, a, a, over at the cafeteria? Oh, dude, do you have them right now? I've always been oh, wanting to try them. Yeah, 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 I got, I got, like, half a bag left over here. Oh, That's dude, pretty... oh, half a bag. That's probably how much was in it when right, you bought yeah. it. <laughs> just cutting, uh, raising prices, getting less product. <sighs> What's the matter, chum? Yeah, so, is, there, is there something annoying coming up? This next uh, pickup here. Yeah. We may have, yeah, we uh, tried to get it earlier. You know, you, you, you saw last episode. Yeah. You get Spider Ball. Yeah. Pretty simple. Yeah. Oh, in in theory. Right. Yeah. Right. So. Right. <laughs> it's, it's it's just simple. Come come on over here. You, you, get, you just drop down. Latch onto this. Uh huh. And then drop down. Yeah. Then hop. Oh, oops. Is this the uh, the patience ruiner? Okay, go up here. Then. Oh, well. All right. I love pachinko machines. <laughs> Eight minutes later. Are you fucking kidding? Dude? I don't know what happened. I just could not figure this out. I, I, I don't know if it was the yips. I don't know if I just couldn't get it right. But it's that right there. Eight minutes later, there it fucking is. God. Oh. Oh, friend. Why did it? Why was it so hard? It, 
I, d it, oh. I just tried boosting and it, w and it just wouldn't go. Oh, my friend. It just wouldn't work. Oh, no. I don't know, what, but we got it now. Yeah, we got it. It's over. It's done. This is where <sighs> I realize I have to make cuts to the episode now. Because we're not, we're nowhere near done yet. That's okay. We all have the that one problem. But 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 it's it's it's, it's okay now. I'm not even gonna worry about about the alarms too much, because the cool thing about the alarms is that even though they do summon some tough commando pirates, they don't lock the doors. Ah! That is an inferior system there. Holy shit! Confirm that the hyperball does work on Metroid. It's not so much on anything else. I mean, it still shocked him, like. Like, you know when you give somebody an Indian burn, or, you know, when you sleep on your arm and it falls asleep? That's probably what it feels like. I don't like using the hyper missiles either. It's all situational, though. Just the hyper beam works best. What I've been doing also is I've been kind of holding on to the corruption, so that way it, it, it starts building. Then I can just ride this one E-tank as long as I can. Harness it. Oh, yes. But it's also risk-reward, because the more I keep it on there, the more it's going to corrupt. And if I wait too long, I could get... I, I could get surprised, and then turn into... Just like the concept sense. of power. Power corrupts, money corrupts. The more you got, the more it corrupts. Yeah, I guess. Oh my god, there are themes in this game, man. Yeah, I suppose it's a layered, nuanced Holy narrative. Holy crap. All right, let's get that hazard shield. Oh, absolutely. Let me see the acid shield. Or the, uh, acid armor. Like, I'm thinking we're gonna have some browns mixed with the blues, and... Maybe, like, a rust color. But first... Ooh! puzzle puzzle Just, just a quick one. Uh, oh, come on. What? Oi! Oi? There you go. You're just like one pixel off. Oh, there we go. There we go. Not the biggest fan of this one because it's 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 just short and the bursts of air just don't go long enough. It's ah. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Doesn't seem that that big of a deal. Another there you go. another patience test for EDJ here. You know. There you go. It was all for the missiles. Uh, but, but, but we got it. I did it all for the missiles. The missiles. What? The missiles. So you can take that missile. What? <laughs> <laughs> Even know what that song is actually called? Uh. Oh shit! I don't think I do. It's it's in the name of the actual song. Did it all for the Nookie? It's called Nookie. Still having trouble figuring out what Nookie actually is. Pussy. Oh! <laughs> it's about sex. Get it? Limp Biscuit wrote a song about sex! Wow. It's kind of ironic knowing his name, but, you know, to each their own. I think Limp Biscuit is also a word for sex. Having a limp dick. Well, that's what I mean. Why would you call yourself that? Because he's terrible. That's the joke. Speaking of terrible, here's the acid suit. Yeah! Come on! Metroid Prime Acid. Yeah, we need Fred Durst to do a Metroid Prime song. Alright, let's see the colors. This is the hazard suit! <laughs> it just adds some cool glowy purple... Uh, nice shoulder pads, geek! It's, it's, it's the gravity suit, quote-unquote. Yeah, they added the purple. But what is cool is that whenever you're in the acid rain, it like glows and actually creates like a little, little barrier. Very cool. Maybe if the acid rain just, like, plinks off. I like it, though. I like, I like the glowy bits. Makes me feel like I'm, I'm powerful and I'm, I'm like... I'm from the future! It's futuristic! Look at the future! Again, gives a... I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> kind of vibe. <laughs> I'm doing fine! Blast! <laughs> God, they don't stand a chance anymore. Not at all. So yeah, it's quick work of that. Ooh. Oh, it's glowing now. All right. Oh, we got more company. 
<laughs> Great! Cool! Sound the alarm! Oh, kill more of your friends! Oh, hello. If you look at my visor, you can see, like, you know, little bits of acid on there, like... Yeah! Don't have time. Move. Excuse me. Hey, wait, where's she going? Oh. Wow, the music's going real hard for the nothing that's happening right now. Find her! Find her! See, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this song is the actual alarm. You don't even have time for the Metroids. It's just like, alright, just passing through. It's okay. It's really, it's better to end on this place. So otherwise, every room I go to is going to be another alarm. So if I just... Take care of the. Uh, I just uh, disengage at the place where I want to be, and there you go. Hyper missile for that. Oop, and some lore. I love reading the space pirate lore. Take taking Valhalla. Oh. The vision of our leader is vast indeed. As we prepared for war with the hated Galactic Federation, she decided she required one of the great machines to better control her living planet. We then set out to bring an Aurora unit to Dark Samus. Oh no. Bribes led us to the location of our prize, a battleship Valhalla. A crew with green recruits on a training mission, she was ours for the taking. One of the mightiest ships in the cosmos was no match for the Phazon-powered weapons of the Colossus. We rendered Valhalla helpless and sent raiders to claim our prize. The Aurora was ours. There is to be no mercy for the Federation dogs. At the command of Dark Samus, we jettisoned the crew into the frigid depths of space, leaving the wreck of Valhalla as a warning to the Federation. Let them tremble before our might. Wow, that's fucked. That's pretty fucked. I'm gonna fuck them up as a result. Just imagine signing up with the Federation in your first mission. Oh yeah, you get to test drive the Valhalla. Oh yeah! And then you get jettisoned down into space. What a bunch of dicks! We got one more pickup to get before we can end for today. You can probably hear it right now. I do hear something. <laughs> And that, of course, opens up this third one here. That, uh... Oh! Oh dear, this thing looks positively terrible. Oh, it's a Metroid Hatcher! It's a Metroid Hatcher! Alright, when the head's interior is damaged, the tentacles, the tentacles will be ripped off. So you shoot the tentacles. Eat simply done, yes. The, the tentacles will attract into its head. And then that's when it's at its most dangerous. <laughs> that's when you rip its head off. If I read that right. I probably didn't read that right. When the tentacles retract, that's when it's going to start creating Phazon Metroids to mess you up. Yo, don't like that. Don't like that. Let's let's uh, take care of all that before that happens, Absolutely. yeah? Absolutely. Okay. Alright, it take, takes a few a few shots to take out the tentacles. Yeah, just gotta just gotta aim just a little bit. Keep at it. There you go. Alright. Uh, there, there we go. There we go. Then it's gonna fly around a bit. When it's breathing purple goop, that's when you gotta shoot it. Then you can tear off one of its tentacles, and then, well, three more to go. Uh, okay, so it's one of those types of fights. It's a cycle-based fight, but okay, it isn't. It isn't too bad. That's fine. That's fine. Seeker missile is probably your best friend around here. I'm assuming. Usually, but I think the beam does more damage. Seeker missiles just hits three of them at once. If you wanna, if you wanna take the time. But I think when you get to like uh, two or and the last tentacle, you can just use the beam. Okay. I mean, the attacks aren't that aren't that bad either. This isn't. This is not a tough boss. So, they have a hatchery for Metroids. A mobile hatchery. Yeah, yep. This place is called the Metroid Krish. Krish? Yeah, Krish. Cr cr C-R-E-C-H-E. -E. Krish. Oh, okay, okay. Krish. 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 place where they are at. The room where it happens. I mean, it is, it is a, I think that is a nursery, so yeah, it's, it's, uh... This is where they're birthing Metroids! No! <laughs> they never learn! Well, I guess technically this means Dark Samus never learns. Did she even get a lot of experience with the phase on Metroid? I think that's kind of how it came to be. You know, it, it was phase on, and the Chozo tried to were like making Metroids, and yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of you know, get, they got exposed, and then the, Met, the Chozo were like, "Oh hell no on this!" And then 
put a big old cork on that. Yeah, yeah. But then we came along and they're like, no. And then we came along. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Being the problem child that we are. Because and fix all manners of problems. Just call us the cleaner. Coming in, root, uh, spoiling plots for world domination. And out of here. No. No. Jeez. Anyway. You know, if you tear off my arms and limbs, I'll explode too. No, that sounds right. Yeah. I, I probably would too. My great, my great uncle went, went out that way. Well, I'm just Traffic. thinking I would be like, Gary, you are gonna finish your dessert, and you are gonna like it. Kind of a weird time to yell about dessert when your arms and legs are ripped off, but it's not what I meant, you barnacle head. Hmm. Sorry, I was my arms and legs got ripped off. Sorry. S sponge rot. Gotta love it. <laughs> Do that. That creates some screw attack walls. Beautiful. But I did see a, a thing in an I'm, upper area. I'm glad you saw that thing. Let's go get that thing. I want to go get that thing. I want to get that thing too. It's like a good it. thing to have. Yeah, I like it when things are got. Especially with that uh, big Poof. old spider rail I see there. Where the hell are we? We're gonna ask. Well, where was that though? I didn't really see any place to go and get to. to, to oh, there we that are. Spider rail. Yeah. Oh. How? Uh, oh. There. Huh? Okay. Right here. Oh. Yeah. It's very subtle. Rewarding eagle-eyed Metroid players, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. And then you get to take the entire route all over the place. Don't fall now. Yeah, please don't. It'll be really annoying. Please don't. Please don't. I, I know you want to for the funnies, Especially but please, here. please don't. Okay. Okay, good. There you go. 12? That's 11. 11, excuse me. Including or not including the one we started with? That's not an e tank. That means you have zero e tanks. No. Oh. We have. 12 bars of energy. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. But 11 e tanks. Well, great. They're hatching Metroids. It takes us to another another trolley, another train station, and a save station right beside it. Phew. We did huh. it. We yeah. backtracked. We, we, we did. And forward tracked. And Nordic tracked. And I guess we gotta go do... Some more fun stuff. I'm down. Here at the Pirate Homeworld. Next time on Metroid Prime 3. Oh, look at that smooth arm movement. Yeah. Look at you. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth.